you were just telling me a minute ago that you're a math major. It's part of your degree here. Yes. So I got to ask you about the angles and the geometry of being a back row player as <laughs> yeah. a libero. Do you does it help a little bit knowing that kind of stuff? Um, it definitely helps with trying to figure out the, like the angle of the ball and where it's coming and you know the trajectory of like where the hit's going to go and that kind of stuff. So I mean to an extent yes, but it's also just kind of how you react and how you how fast you are to get the ball. Okay, well I've peaked a couple of times during our broadcast <laughs> and watched you play back okay. row. You have a tendency to make a move before the ball's even struck by a hitter. How do you? What are you looking at there? I'm um, looking at her shoulder and um, her arm. If she's um, going to tip, then she usually goes higher in her arms. Um, and then she like the approach that she's taking into the ball whether she's going to the angle of the court, which had an angle, so that kind of stuff. What about working with the blockers in front of you? Do you have to read that? Yes, I do. Um, the block, if there's a hole, then usually I go and fill it, and then I, again, go back to the hitter of what she's doing. Um, if the block's closed, then I know, okay, I need to stay wide, and then I need to like be ready to charge in to get the offhand block. So. Now, I'm guessing, because that took maybe a full minute to explain, <laughs> you've got maybe one and a half seconds to yes. do on the court. What yes. in the world? I mean, how, does that become instinctive? Um, to an extent, yes, it does, because, you know, you have to be able to just go with the flow and like yeah. you know not every ball's gonna be the same so like as much as my coaches tell me oh you know on this ball you need to do that or like whether I tell my girls that I'm coaching oh you need to do this on this ball sure. you just got to react to every single ball and just literally go for it. Film study help do you watch other team? We do yes we usually watch um, right before the game like the day before and then we'll say oh well this girl has a tendency to stay sh like hit sharper angles so stay right. sharper and then you know then move forward or like she has a tendency to hit deeper, so go ahead and float a little deeper and then just be ready to have that cross shot body. So You were also telling me a minute ago that you're now coaching some junior volleyball. Does are you a coach on the floor now? Does it transfer to working with other players? Um, I think that this you know, this year being a captain has really helped me being able to like say, Hey, like you got that short ball, you can do it, like you get the short ball, I'll get the deep ball, that kind of stuff. So I think that's where like if I ever was trying to help that on the like, team, that would be it. I really don't want to be a coach on the like the team. I want to be a player and like have someone trust me right. in that sense. But yeah, coaching little girls has been a lot of fun so far. I've had three practices, so yeah, hopefully <laughs> keep that going. <laughs> all right. First team all conference last year as a libero. Uh, you're going to be probably statistically one of the best liberos in jewel history, whether it's NCAA or NAIA, and yet the season's been frustrating. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be a senior next year. Tomorrow they'll introduce the four seniors. It's be yeah. Seniors Day a year from now. You're going to be going through that. In the next 365 days, what do you want to accomplish? Um, I really want to have, like the team we have this year, It's we've had frustrating moments, but we've had great moments in the same like aspect of it. And I really want to have those moments back of just like, let's just go out and play and let's just show people who we really are yeah. kind of um, thing. And so... The next 365 days, I really just want to put some people's heads in the wall and be like, this is who Jewel Volleyball is, and like, this is what we stand for. Yeah. Your uh, folks come to the games a lot. I think your mom hasn't yeah. missed a game this nope. year. Can you tell me a little bit about your family and, and, uh, and what they're like? Um, well, I am the youngest, so that helps a lot. <laughs> um, and then it just, explains a lot too. It does <laughs> explain a lot, yes. Um, but they like to travel and they like volleyball just as much as I do. And right. um, both my sister and older brother have like done sports, and so I think that me continuing to, through college was them like, okay, we can actually like go a little bit more, you know. And they have made friends with the dual parents, and so that has helped a lot of like them traveling together and finding ways to do that stuff mm -hmm. and keeping them busy so okay. they're not empty nesters all the way technically. Okay. Yeah, how about your body at this point in the season? I mean <laughs> you don't wear pads. I mean, football yeah. players wear helmets and pads and other sports yeah. wear pads. You don't. Are you, are you beat up from hitting the floor? Uh, I just got a little bruised from this past oh, weekend wow. so um, that's not too bad but other than that it's the normal stuff. S sore legs, you know, arms a little tired but yeah. you just kind of learn to work through it and just to go on. Right, so, yeah. right. And finally uh, it was just uh, I alluded to your math major, but in a year from now, I'm assuming you'll graduate, and yes. then what? Well, coming into Jewel, I thought actuarial science, which is like assessing rates, working for an insurance company, that kind of stuff. Um, but lately, I've just been thinking about maybe like an accounting, or like I've always thought working in a hospital would really, really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't really want to go the healthcare route. So like I thought maybe like being in accounting for a hospital, or like sure. just I don't know anywhere. But you know, and then the psychology aspect comes of it of like maybe like a counselor, but like. I don't know. So it's kind of all in the, in the air, you know. Well, you've got 365 yeah, days for volleyball, <laughs> more for that, so you've yes. got time to stay. Yep. It's, again, been a pleasure watching you play this year. Thank you. I'm looking forward to next year as well yeah, as uh, their last two matches this yes. year. Olivia, thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back with game number three in just a moment.